Come on, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. And today I'm doing something that's either you love it or you hate it. No in between. It's just something you into or you're not. Today I'm doing old school fried pig feet. I grew up on pig feet any kind of way. Fried, boiled, baked, smothered. Like I said, I'm from the old school country. We ate everything from the like they say, ruler to the tutor. Everything. We didn't throw away nothing when we killed a hog. I mean, I mean, growing up, when you grow up in the rural community, especially if you're not lower income, you learn to use every part of the animal that you kill. You didn't waste nothing. So this is a recipe that I grew up on. I'm going to do exactly like my mama used to make it. So let's get started here. It's a long process. Two simple steps, but it's a long process. First thing I'm going to do, I wash my pig feet. And I like to split mine in half. The reason I do that, because it makes it, to me, the flavor get into the meat better. So, I got these split in half. So, what I do, all I'm going to do, I'm going to boil these. It takes about two and a half, three hours to, uh, to cook these. All I do is add salt and pepper to the water. Make sure you season the water. I season the water. And I'm going to season the batter when I bread them. And I put a little white vinegar in mine. I do that for, uh, I like that little tang in my uh, big feet. And the acidity in the water, the acidity in the water helps them, helps them uh, cook a little quicker. And I just cover them up. And we're going to boil them for about two and a half, like I say, to three hours on that. Close to medium heat, a little bit higher than medium heat. And that's it. So we'll be back in about, like I say, three hours. We'll take them out. I'm going to bread them. We're going to fry them. And that's it. Very simple. Old school fried pig feet, y'all. It doesn't get much better than this. Something I raise up on takes me way back. Like I say, it's either you love them or hate them. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. These pig feet are ready. It took exactly three hours to cook these things. And look at that. Nice and tender. So what I'm going to do, take them off of here. Put them on my sheet pan here. Nice and tender. And y'all remember when I fry these, these are already ready. So all I'm trying to do is get them nice and crispy. And golden brown color on them. You can see, look at that meat. That meat just coming off of that, y'all. Meat on that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, get rid of this water here. Get rid of this liquid that I do not need. I'm going to get my, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to use my walk here. Because I says I got it here and I get more coverage. And I like frying stuff in my walk sometimes. So I get actually get more coverage in this walk. So I'm going to get this heated up, the oil heated up. I'm going to get this seasoned off. Matter of fact, let me do this right now. I'm going to season these again. Put my shake on here. Season them while they're wet here. Got my cavernous here. Nice seasoning on them. Season them while they're good and moist and hot. So they can soak in my granulated garlic. Good seasoning on y'all know I don't use a lot of seasoning if y'all been following me enough. But I think if you use too much seasoning, you're just taking away from the from the natural flavor of the meat. Flip this over. See y'all can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can, yeah. My uh, old school shake here. Having this here. These gonna be so good and flavorful, y'all. If you don't like fried pig feet, pig, just try it. To me, it tastes like fried pork chops, really, with not less meat on it. That's like what it tastes like to me. Okay, we're going to let that sit here. We're going to get our oil heated up. And uh, another thing, in this bowl here, I got uh, one part AP flour, one part white cornmeal. That's what I'm going to bread them in. I like that little, my mom used to do this, that little, uh, 
you know, crispiness of the cornmeal, and then of course flour. That's all I got in this bowl right here. So anyway, we'll be right back. We'll all heat up. See the wok is getting good and hot, and we'll fry this off. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, I'm gonna pour this flour and uh, cornmeal mixture in a bag. Y'all know I do my shake and bake method here. And all I'm gonna do, take my pig feet, put it in the bag here with the flour. I'm gonna shake it up. Y'all know how I fry my chicken and everything. I use my shake and bake, shake and shake it up method. Good way to use up these roasted bags, y'all. Shake it up really good. No milk, no nothing. Gonna let the moisture from the pig feet do its thing, make everything stick together. We're gonna shake off the excess flour. And that's it. Put the pig feet in the oil. I'm gonna do three at a time, y'all, so it don't, so it don't, uh, the water don't, I'm the water, the oil doesn't get too cold. As simple as it go, y'all, I got a sheet uh, pan with a rack here, and I'm gonna put it on when they come out. And you're gonna heat the oil up by 350 if you're using a deep fryer. If you're using a regular pan, that's how hot you want the oil. And that's what you want. Keep them apart like that. And be very careful. Sometimes these pig feet don't like to be cooked. And they'll pop back on you. Pop you right in the face. Showing you they don't like what you're doing to them. But you got to hold on in there and finish them off. Because they're so good to eat. We're gonna let them cook about, I usually cook them about two or three minutes on each side. I'm gonna turn them over. Like I said, this is one of them like them or hate them type uh, meals, type dishes, type recipes, whatever word I'm trying to say. And I can hear it with a pop. You can see, you see it's gonna pop up on me. I'm gonna back up about a feet from it. And you can do this with pigtails too. You can do fried pigtails too. But to me, like I say, when that skin get crispy and the little meat inside the knuckles of the uh, of the pig feet, it tastes like to me the pork chop with a between a cross between a pork chop and and uh, it's chicharrones in Spanish. Uh, uh, what's the thing you put hot hot sauce on growing up? Uh, I cannot think of how the brain cramp, y'all. Pork skins. That's exactly what it feels like. Turn them over. Let them cook on the other side. That's it, y'all. We're going to let it do its thing. And we'll be right back here in about... Couple of minutes when they're done, and we're gonna show you all we come up with. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. The first batch I'm gonna take off of here. Put them on my pan here. Look at this. Oh yeah, I'm ready to eat, y'all. Look at that. Let them suckers drain. Oh yeah. This is some good eating, today, y'all. Okay. Put the next three in there. And that's it. Shake them up really, really good. Make sure they look good and coated. It's probably a good thing that people don't eat these. Probably wondering what in the world this guy doing. They don't know good eating, y'all. Make sure you keep them really good. Put all that flour coated in between them toes, y'all. I always like to start with the fat side down. Make that fat side get crispy. And that's it. That is it, y'all. Gonna let those cook. And we will be back when this final product is finished. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, let me try one of these things. They so tender. Like I say, this is something either you love or you hate, dog. 
Look at that meat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What I like to do. Give me a second. Give me a crisp of hot sauce. That's what you do it, y'all. Now this is good with mustard green, turnip green, collard greens, cabbage. Mm. Give me some of this. That meat in there. Mm. Mm. It's on, y'all. This stuff is so tender for all them parts. Like I say, this either you love them or you hate them. Mm. Hold on, y'all. I'm having back in the day childhood moment here. Mm, mm, mm. One more bite. Mm. I love these. They boil good, but when you fry them, like I did, hmm. Y'all notice I put a light breading on them, not a heavy breading. It's a nice light breading on them. And man, oh man. I know it's gonna be some people on here say this is garbage food, gonna hate on it. Say this is slave food. I see people say that about chitlin. Talking about all oh, that slave food, nobody eat that no more. I bet the same person saying that will eat the world out of some chicken wings and oxtails. And they don't realize back in the day, chicken wings and oxtail was garbage food. But go to the store now and price some chicken wings and oxtails and come back and tell me if it's, if it's garbage food. Oxtails is more than ribeye now. Chicken wings is more than, <laughs> than some steaks are now. So don't tell me about garbage food. But anyway, that's enough rambling and rant. If you like this video, please tell me. Please comment on it. Please share. Please like. Please visit my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Hold on, y'all. I got to take now. I'm getting cold on it. What was I? Instagram, Pinterest, Twitch TV, Twitter, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food. <clears throat> Sorry, the hot sauce got in my throat. Have a blast. <clears> Hold <throat> on, oh, yeah, I gotta do this right. I'm not gonna edit this out. Have a blast, old school soul food day. See y'all.